It's a really good question. What, what keeps me going? Um, I, do, I, do believe, I do believe in the process now. I do believe in, in what we're doing because I've seen, I've seen the, the people at the other end that have benefited from it. So I guess, I guess it's that that, that that keeps me going and the fact that I've, I've started something um, that, that, that I want to continue. We run um, four-week boxing courses here at Islington Boxing Club. We work with um, a variety of people um, that have barriers to employment. For a lot of people, the biggest barrier is walking into a boxing gym for the first time. I think it can be like a really daunting thing. So like the first thing that, that we will always do is kind of let them feel comfortable and say, look, you know, they're just mainly beginners here. Most of the people on this course haven't done boxing before. On Thursday, you're going to have both coaches. And just kind of address any concerns that they might have. I was made redundant by my last employer and I was um, trying to start up my own business. I was in the process. So I was just signing on and um, doing business training as well. Like when there's hardly much money coming in and then you've got to juggle, have I got enough food, have I got enough this, can I actually get to the interviews where I'm trying to go and then when you get to the interview, you can already feel like, oh, this person's already got me as a no because I've ticked that box that says ex offender and, and it's like, someone please, like, Give me a chance. So, so I've kind of done the seven years in the army, but actually when I left, I was still pretty much the same young boy that joined. So, I mean, I was shattered. I'd been homeless, um, begging for money on the streets. You know, I was in a very poor physical condition. You know, I was very heavy into crack and heroin. I'd lost my family, you know, I'd lost the home. No contact with the children. You know, everything had kind of gone. We will do the boxing training so that um, all the participants will undertake all the normal drills that a boxer would undertake to prepare for a fight. So they'll do skipping, road work, partner work, pad work, they'll hit the bags, they'll do all that stuff. We will stop short of any sparring or, or contact work um, because the course is mainly aimed at beginners but they do get to have a move around in the ring with their coaches. I'd say by the end of the course you'll see a kind of development in their general fitness um, and, and, and kind of a more positive attitude and I think that's a really good time to kind of talk to them about other stuff. At the end of every session I'll maybe ask one or two people to, to hang back and I'll have a chat with them. So we will get down um, kind of what they've done, any skills, qualifications, college, school history, stuff like that. And then we'll try and find out a bit more about what they'd like to do in the future. So that is just with discussion initially. Uh, it's not a one size fits all thing, but we will always work on that action plan to start. I've got two fantastic coaches now that are actually both pro boxers. Um, Jose Olishigan and uh, Larry Kundaya. For the people on the course, it's, it's, it's quite exciting to have two professional boxers teaching them and showing them everything they, they've learned. We are challenged, but then we love doing it because we know how it is. Once upon a time, we were negative too. I was, I can say. I was a little bit on the negative side, then I had to bring myself back on the, you know, back on the positive side. So, and it can feels, be challenging, but... It feels good as well when you actually eventually, I mean, when you eventually get someone that's going in that direction and get them to switch to the yeah. other side. It's always a good feeling to know that I've got the power, we've got the power to help. Yeah, hey, everyone, clap, let's go, clap, come in. Look, right before my one two, right there, right on my right without turning my head, I can't reach.
I mean, we've, we've got quite a good success rate of helping people, and I would say that people that complete our course, it's just under 70% that go into work or training, which is a statistic I'm really proud of. I now have a permanent contract um, with part-time hours, of which fits in now with my business. So I now have my business, which I'm pushing forward, and um, that I have my part-time job in Waitrose. I'm starting a counselling course on the 28th of this month. So I've got, I've got contact numbers if I want to go down that line of getting, you know, doing a bit of peer mentoring and helping people in similar situations. You know, I never knew there was nothing like this out there. You know, when I was stuck in that kind of stuff, you know, you generally believed no one, no one cared, no one wanted to help. Um, but actually what I've realised, through me putting in a little bit of effort myself and trying to change, there is help out there and there are guys like Imran that do things, set things up like this. For me, um, I, I love boxing. I with Islington Boxing Club for more than 10 years. So I've seen firsthand um, the positive effects it's had on people. I've seen people walking through the door for the first time and how they were, and I've seen the development in them. And I think there's nothing that kind of challenges you in the way that, that, that boxing does. I'm, I guess I'm proud of what, the, um, what our program does. And, and that it does help people. And I think the more I do it, and the more I talk to people that have done our course, the more I realize that it's, it's having some benefit on people's lives. Uh, what would I say to someone who was unsure about joining the course? Come and give it a try. You don't need any experience. You're in a safe environment. If, you know, if you, wanna, if you wanna find adventure, you gotta walk out of your front door. Well, I got that from Lord of the Rings, I think, so it might be copyrighted. <laughs>